Today, I want to talk about why I've changed my CV. Up until about a year ago, I had the same dry three to five page CV as every other forensic psychologist. So, you know, it's, it's all white and pages and paragraphs about my relevant forensic experience. Look at me. I'm this great expert. You can trust me. But a little while ago, I sat for testimony and as I was preparing, an attorney was kind enough to make a joke at my expense about my very long CV. And it got me thinking. Um, and it was during a time where I was really developing the course on consumer driven forensic report writing. So I was having all these revolutionary thoughts about the length of everything we do and why it looks the way it looks and why are we doing what we're doing? Like, what is the point of these things? Who are we doing them for? And, and that's like the whole focus of that course on report writing. But this attorney with their well-placed, well-timed question got me thinking, why should my CV be any different than that? Who is my CV for? What is the point of it? Well, the point of it is to qualify me as an expert, to show the court that I'm qualified to do this. Can I do that in one page or two pages? Can I do it more simply? Can I do it more concisely? Like what, what do they actually ask me when they're qualifying me as an expert? Okay, so they asked me about my education. That's got to stay. They asked me about my licensure. That's got to stay. They do ask about my experience, but they want bullet points, like highlights. If I go on too long, I, I, they interrupt me. So uh, I got to talk about that, but it's, it's usually pretty specific, enough to sort of minimally establish that I've done the work before. Because really what they want to know is, do you get us? Do you have something to offer that will move the needle for the courts? That's, that's really what they want to know. Can you be my expert? Are you reliable? Can I trust your opinions? So it got me thinking, all the things that I propose in the course on report writing that they need to be more concise, that they need to be more graphic, that they need warmer language and to be cleaner and easier to read and nicer to look at and easier to digest the information quickly and efficiently. All those things apply to our CVs. And that really, what was my fear? What was my fear in condensing down my CV to a smaller, shorter, more digestible format? Well, my fears were that they weren't going to see me as an expert. My fear was that, you know, they'd be like, look at this graphic designer. He's not my forensic psychology doctor guy. My fear was that my fellow forensic psychologists would see my CV in the court file and be like, who is this guy with his pretty little graphics? That's not professional. And I just had to take a deep breath and believe myself that that's all nonsense. Because the point is that the only things that should be on my CV are the things that I'm repeatedly and routinely asked about to qualify me as an expert. And that definitely does not need to span five pages. It definitely can look nicer and be more digestible and be a part of the brand of me, like me as an expert. And in fact, what... I'm doing there is to say like, this is consistent. You're consistently getting this from me. You are consistently getting from the point of hire through testimony. You will get from me crisp, clean, on point information because you are a busy judge and a busy attorney and you will only get from me everything that you need and nothing that you don't. And so just over and over again, that's what I'm communicating. I'm communicating it in my website, in my paperwork, with my reports, and with my CV. So that's the justification for this change. So I'll show you. Here's what it looks like now. Well, actually, I have a few different versions that I use, um, kind of like, you know, a wardrobe. I can try on different ones. That's the fun of a CV. Um, it's different than a report where you get, you get the one version and that's what you get. But um, this one here, this is the one that I use the most. And just like anything else, it takes longer to be more efficient at first. Once the hard work is done, then, you know, what are we, what are we doing? Well, if we change jobs, we're updating quickly. In fact, it's quicker than it was before because I don't have to write a whole paragraph now. So it's concise. 
one to two sentences per place, like some places can drop off. If I haven't been there in 20 years or it's no longer relevant to what I'm doing right now, it, it doesn't need to be on there. I don't need to list the trainings I've been to. Nobody, nobody has ever asked me about that. They do ask about board certification or to ensure that I've had training in a certain population like juveniles, right? So that's that's reflected there. But down to the minutia, like that, what I had in there before, you know, if they're dying to know those things, they can ask me. But if we're at that level of questioning, then something has gone wrong somewhere along the way, either because my report didn't demonstrate my expertise or because the attorney shenanigans are underway. Because really just if we're into that kind of nitty gritty in qualifying me as an expert, like we've got bigger problems than my, my CV. So just cut it out, cut all that stuff out, make it more reader friendly so that people can start to see you as the expert that you already are. This is Streamline Forensics and we train forward.